All right, we're ready for our second video. Uh, in the first video, I did something really simple. I showed you how to name uh, taking the two elements, sodium and chlorine, uh, and make them ionic compounds. I showed you their ions and how they form the formula NaCl, and I showed you how you name those. And I explained to you that prefixes are not used, but the suffix is used, you know, the IDE. Okay. Now, here's the second one. We can go a little bit faster since we have the first one explained in the first video. Uh, if you look for potassium, uh, potassium is the letter K. Notice it's in the first column. So what we'll do is we'll write down K plus 1. Now, oxygen, if you look, is in column 16 at the top. Its charge is a negative 2. So you'll write down O, negative 2. Now, Remember, once you get the plus and the minus down, the, the, they're not used anymore, okay, as far as writing the formula. So you can ignore the plus, you can ignore the minus. Now remember, you got to cross these down, okay, like, just like that. So basically, you're going to have K2, and look how I write the 2, I write it small. That's called a subscript. O, which is the oxygen, and the 1. Now remember, we don't write once. It's understood that there's a 1 there if you don't write it. So we have the formula. Now, as far as naming this guy, it's kind of easy. Remember, no prefixes are used. This is potassium. Okay. Now, oxygen is still going to be just oxide. Notice, once again, no prefixes. Not monoxide, just oxide. Okay. Now, just in case if you don't remember from uh, naming molecular compounds why this is oxide, uh, the name of this O is oxygen. That's where you take the word O-X-Y-G-E-N. You find the middle of it and you know, you go through the series of trying to figure out the best spelling, the one that sounds the best. I guess the more, uh, the most believable. And lo and behold, you'll find out that the one that's the most believable, that sounds the best, is oxide. Because you will have done several and several of these. So that's how we know the name of this thing is potassium oxide and that its formula is K2O. Now let's look at another one. Okay, here's another uh, simple ionic compound. Magnesium. Let's look and see if we can find magnesium. Here's magnesium. It's in the second column and it gets a plus 2 charge. So the, the symbol is Mg plus 2. Notice magnesium, Mg right here. Plus 2 because it's in the second column. Sulfur is S. Now, sulfur is in column 16 which is a negative 2. Now, let's look at these. Now, here we've got the plus is gone and the minus is gone. And we can bring these numbers down, but wait a second. Don't these numbers match? Meaning, aren't they multiples of one another? This is a 2 and this is a 2. Couldn't we reduce them by dividing both numbers by 2? Yes, we can. That way we can just get M, G, S for our formula. Because if we technically write down Mg2S2, that's not right because we can reduce the twos. In these ionic compounds, if you can reduce the subscripts by multiples, please do. Okay? Meaning this. If, mag if magnesium did have a positive 4 charge and this was a 4 and this was a 2, then this would change to a 2 and this would change to a 1. So we bring a 2 down here and bring a 1 down behind there. But we don't write once. So if this was Mg positive 4 S negative 2 you'd see uh, Mg 1 S 2 because the 4 and the 2 would reduce to a 2 and to a 1. But remember, if they're identical, this part's easy. If they match and if they're identical, you just mark them out and don't write them. <laughs> you know, because they're not there. 
because that reduces to a 1 and that reduces to a 1. And you don't write ones. Anyway, let's name this guy. This is magnesium. Okay. And sulfur, we know from our practice with naming uh, those compounds and molecular compounds with IDE that this is sulfide. Now, if you need a quick refresher on how to get sulfide, uh, you take sulfur, S U L F U R, uh, break it in half, and do the spelling uh, trick that I showed y'all in class. Add I D E to all these, and pick the one that sounds the best, and the one that sounds the best is sulfide. That's why it's magnesium sulfide. Alright, I hope you got something out of this video, and good night.